Welcome to Now in Android, your ongoing guide to what's new and notable in the world of Android development. In this episode, we'll be covering day two of Android Dev Summit focused on form factors, the health services Jetpack beta, a ton of updates to Google Play, Android performance, and more. The second day of Android Dev Summit 2022 kicked off live from London with updates on Android form factors, including large screens, wearables, cars, and TVs. The full YouTube playlist has more about how your apps can take advantage of the growing portfolio of large screen devices, such as tablets, desktops, and foldables, how we're making it simpler than ever to develop for Wear OS, best practices for TV development, and what's new in car development. And make sure to tune in on November 14th at 9 a.m. PST for the final Android Dev Summit live stream focused on how to best leverage Android platform innovations. We covered the beta updates to the Health Services API, which enables Wear OS 3 apps to take advantage of on-device sensor data and related algorithms corresponding to activity, exercise, and health without having to choose between conserving battery life and getting high-frequency data. It introduces new data and exercise types, the ability to listen for health events such as fall detection, a new organization model for data and health services that makes the API more type safe, new exercise states that give you more control over how your app responds to an ending exercise, new passive listener APIs, and more. Google Play covered lots of big platform updates, including expanding live ops and renaming it to promotional content, churned user custom store listings, new technical quality thresholds for user perceived crash rates and ANRs, an improved purchase experience, more flexibility and control over your subscriptions, new monetization in types, new safety initiatives and policies, the global expansion of the Google Play games beta on PC and more. Over in articles, Diana covered how to consider reachability, what parts of the screen users can comfortably reach without stretching or adjusting their grip when deciding where to place an app's UI elements. The article considers hand size, device orientation, and how best to utilize the edges and top of the screen. In Accurately Measure Android App Performance with Profilable Builds, he covers how to use the Profilable tag on devices running Android 10 or higher to enable profiling tools that measure timing information without the performance overhead of a debug build. The blog explains when to use a release build, a profilable release build, or a debug build. There are so many great videos from the Form Factors livestream. For a quick summary, Alex presented his top three picks from the Form Factors track in ADS22, while the live Form Factors hashtag Ask Android panel answered your questions on large screens, foldables, wearables, and TVs. We had lots of sessions on how to handle your eye for larger screens, including Chrome OS. We also dove deeply into wearables, covered improving the TV user experience, and what's new with the Car App library. We also had talks that covered technologies that spanned these form factors. Over in Android X, the first release candidate of Wear Compose version 1.1 went out, along with Car App version 1.2 and TV version 1.0 Alpha 2. Media Router version 1.4 Alpha 1 added System Output Switcher Dialog Controller dot show dialog to show either the system's output switcher dialog or the Bluetooth settings fragment on Wear devices. Privacy Sandbox Tools version 1.0 Alpha 1 is a new Jetpack library that contains APIs for utilizing the Privacy Sandbox functionality, while Camera version 1.3 Alpha 1 now officially includes Camera Viewfinder, providing a base viewfinder widget that can display the Camera 2 camera feed. Data Store version 1.1 Alpha 1 now can support data consistency in multi-process use cases and has a new storage interface which abstracts the underlying storage mechanism for Data Store, with implementations provided for Java.io and OKIO. Finally, in episode 190 of Android Developers Backstage, Tor and Chet learned some more about performance from Carmen, an expert on everything related to performance from the Android platform performance team. A perfect episode for you if you ever wanted to learn more about R8, Profetto, baseline profiles, custom performance tracing, power metrics, and more. So, that's it for this week. With Android Dove Summit and its form factors track, health services, Google Play updates, performance, and more. Remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. Come back here soon for the next update from the Android developer universe. And make sure to tune in on November 14th at 9 a.m. PST for the Android Dev Summit platform live stream.